you'll have the road a lot, you've probably witnessed it yourself or even done it, the ever-brazen brake check. But what happened next on Grand Rapids Northwest Side recently went way beyond that, and cameras documented every bizarre moment. Target 8 investigator Susan Samples tracked down both drivers and a psychologist who deconstructed the drama. If you thought the brake check was bad... Wait, what, you chicken? What are you, what? Hey, you get on my car. Hey, what the was that? Good question. I mean, what were you thinking at that moment, though? But first, to set the scene, on a mid-July Saturday, Michael Wynn and his fiance had grabbed takeout sushi after a stressful day and were heading home through the Marsh Ridge Senior Community off Lake Michigan Drive, west of Collindale. It's a shortcut to our house. It's a lot safer instead of going on this roundabout. What Wynn said he didn't know, drivers cutting through the private complex to avoid a nearby roundabout is a consistent problem. And Wynn was about to encounter one angry and unapologetic resident. She didn't stop at the stop sign and she just pulled out in front of us. So we tried slowing down just a bit, but uh, she was upset how close we were. When I pulled out here, they were boom, right on my butt. You're darn right, I'm gonna break check them. But Kalinda Jacobs didn't stop there. When we honked at her to keep moving forward, she got out of her car. Tesla wheel cameras don't record audio, but when recalled. She was yelling at me for speeding behind her, that I was tailgating her the entire time she was driving which was for about two seconds. Wynn admits he was speeding, going 18 or so, he said, in a 10 mile per hour zone. And by this point, he was yelling too. Wait, what, you chicken? What are you, what? Hey, you get on my car. Up, dumb At that moment, I'm thinking, oh, here they got a Tesla, they got this, they're videotaping everything. They think their don't stink and they know all the rules and laws, and they don't. They don't. They're disrespectful. But you got out of your car, <laughs> and you went around, and you reached into their car and slapped that woman. It there was... is no defending that. No, well, no. I'm not trying to defend it. I know I did wrong, but what she did was wrong also. Wynn said he stopped recording on his cell phone after the slap because he needed his phone to dial 911. He did acknowledge he and his fiance both exited their car after the slap, and he said when Jacobs continued to lunge, his fiance did push Jacobs to defend herself. Do I think mistakes were made in this altercation? Yeah, absolutely. And that goes for both parties, said Ryan Martin, who researches and writes on anger. Though Jacobs was clearly the aggressor, and it's easy to Monday morning quarterback, Martin said Wynn and his fiance could have just not engaged, not rolled down any windows. Just give them nothing in return. Just put your car in reverse, back away. Go a different direction, whatever it takes to, to just get away from that situation. Especially because you never know. Road rage shootings, said Martin, are steadily increasing. In the last decade or so in West Michigan, four people were killed in three roadside confrontations. Martin advises drivers to stick to the mission, getting from point A to point B safely and, if possible, on time. No, that's, that's a hard thing to remember in the moment. And so one of the goals for people has to be to figure out how do you in the moment find that pause button. Martin suggests you actually practice in your mind. Imagine a tense driving situation and what you would do to de-escalate it. Michael Wynn says looking back he should have remained calm. I think if I did that or spoke to her more respectfully maybe it wouldn't have escalated but I was yelling at her that this is crazy and I didn't want our sushi to go bad. You know, <laughs> Kalinda Jacobs was less introspective. I wouldn't even call it a slap, but that's what she wants to say. She's a drama queen. Kalinda Jacobs has been charged with misdemeanor assault. And while it's highly unlikely she would ever face jail time, the charge does carry up to 93 days in jail and or a $500 fine. In Grand Rapids, I'm Target 8 investigator Susan Samples.